Hi, welcome to an on shape video tutorial. I want to do the F1 rear wing exercise now in on shape. Despite on shape lacking proper surface tools, it went uh, quite well. So, let's have fun with on shape. At first, I want to create some planes to go for parallel one to this one and that should be 660 next one parallel to the front plane and that should be 375 and then another one to this one 200 no 200 and confirm then I want one with a distance of 100 and four with one, three, five to each other. Third one. And the last one again one three five and confirm. Nice. Let's do our first sketch on the front plane. I need a rectangle six fifty by six fifty. Okay, then a spline which could start right here and go something like that. Okay, there is a handle, and let's see if we can put that handle vertical not really but I could align this point so this point and that point could be aligned vertical nice then a line which starts right here goes over there and another rectangle up here no sorry Another rectangle up here and a fillet. And this might be one hundred. And then that distance could be one hundred. Then trim. So this should removed those two yeah and then you could delete one of those dimensions trim here this one that one this one and that one and you could trim this or just change it to for construction only so this should be trimmed as well. Nice. First sketch, second sketch on the same plane, on the front plane. And that would be an arc, three points, maybe like this and okay and move this a little bit maybe like this okay and leave that sketch next sketch should be on the right plane 
on this one. First would be a line, maybe like this, and that line would be collinear with that plane. So this one and that plane should be coincident. Okay, next sketch on the same plane. On the right plane, so go for a sketch on the right plane. And that would be a line which starts here and goes something like this, for example. Then a line that point with this plane and maybe move this a little bit over here and confirm. Now, I need an extrude in two directions, so go for extrude, make it a surface, select that line, in this direction maybe 700, and in the second direction maybe, let's take a look, yeah, 200 should do the trick, and OK. Another extrude with this one, surface again, 700, second direction, maybe 200 as well, not 200, okay, confirm. Now I want to trim this surface with that curve, if possible. Let's see if that works. There is no trim, there is only split, so I want to split apart. And the split command would be this one. I want to split apart, yes, I want to split this part with that curve. That's not possible, I could only split with that curve the face. So I want I need to do is to make an extrude with this one, again a surface, okay, in that direction, that's okay, and make it 500, confirm. And now, yeah, this has to be bit just draw it a little bit now I can split this surface with that plane and I want to keep the tool and okay now hide that extrude should be this one. So that's a surface. Second, that's the one. Hide it and hide that part as well. Okay. So next, I want to do a loft. Again, a surface from this edge right here to that edge and make it match tangent and match tangent and of course you could change the magnitude but I think that's okay and I don't want to merge it with something I want to have a new surface and confirm I need only the small last part here, so I could go for a split. So, but if I want to split, I need, yeah, of course, to extrude that one. So I will do that later on. Now I need two more sketches on the top plane. So go for a sketch on that top plane. Okay. 
I need a rectangle. And this should be 135 by maybe 20. This should be for construction only. And I need a line. Which is not for construction. Okay, dimension of this one could be 30. No, not of this one. But from this point to that point, it could be 30. Then I need a tangent arc from that line and point up there. And another tangent arc from this one over here. Nice. Then let's take a look. I could hide those surfaces for the moment. And this line should be coincident to that plane. So this one to that one. And this one to that one. Okay. And I want to copy that sketch later on. So let's close that sketch. Copy it. And paste it onto the same plane. And that would be the top plane. So paste it there. Edit that sketch. Let's try to move it. Okay. So this might be 20. And let's see if we can edit this one to 100 without losing that point. Yeah, that's okay. And of course, I want this to be tangent. Close that sketch. I need it here as well. Sketch 5 before I forget it. So, tangency between this part and that line. Okay, close that one. And now back to our sketch 5. And this should be aligned with that line on that plane and this line aligned to the front plane since it is aligned and Take a look. Yeah, 